Morning Church Fano. Um, I've arrived in Auckland. I've got a couple of hui's up here today. Uh, this afternoon from 1 o'clock or 1.30 through to 5 o'clock, I've got a, um, a catch-up meeting with the, the leaders of the YPL, PL and uh, Poa Money Program. The YPL is the Youth Pastoral Leadership Training Program. The PL is the Pastoral Leadership Tra Program and I, I facilitate the uh, Poa Money uh, Program. Uh, the three heads of that, uh, we meet regularly to talk about the future of training within the Baptist work and particularly training up of leaders. Um, so we've got a hui this afternoon. It's a bit of a long one, but um, we praying. I've been praying on the way up that uh, the Lord will reveal himself uh, to us um, for the benefit of the, the wider church, church community. And then I've got classes tonight with my, my son, Manaki Nui. We're teaching te reo. Uh, and then tomorrow we've got uh, Formation Tuesday where we're spending time with our Poa Manoni students and in particular welcoming back one of our tutors who got a moko kawai um, recently. Um, bit of a heads up for Sunday coming. Uh, it's Pentecost Sunday so we're going to be focusing on uh, Acts chapter 2. So if you want to have a bit, of a bit of a heads up, read that, pray about it, ask the Lord to reveal himself to you through those scriptures. Uh, particularly where the pouring out of the Holy Spirit and Peter's explanation of what was going on at the time uh, to the crowd. Um, you know, this year it's 3,334 years since uh, the first um, Pentecost um, period in the Jewish uh, history. Um, so after the Israelites came out of um, Egypt, the Passover event, um, 50 days or seven weeks following that event was Passover. And um, so we're going to be talking a bit about that uh, this Sunday. I don't want to give it too much away. Um, but uh, the Lord is everywhere. And uh, so th that's the word for that is um, omnipresent. Um, but he also wants to be on me uh, or on you as well. So it's not just about having a presence of the Lord in our communities and there. He also wants to have a personal relationship with us. And that's the promise of the, the pouring out of the Holy Spirit. It's not a religious thing. Um, it's not a, a tradition in the sense of uh, we follow rules and regulations for doing church or being a people of God or priests and all these types of things. It's actually about a time where God is, is uh, poured out his spirit on all peoples. Um, no longer you, you no longer have to just go to a certain pr uh, priest or person to, uh, to ask for forgiveness or cleansing and all that type of stuff that we've, we've had historically. Um, uh, the Lord is now open to all peoples. So um, I was praying on the way up and worshipping the Lord and just uh, really, really sensing that, that place of uh, develop an intimacy with me and um, I will make myself known. So pursuing and seeking the Lord, his presence on me, his presence on you. Uh, may you find that happen as you read through the scriptures uh, this week and reflect on that. Looking forward to Sunday. Uh, looking forward to seeing everybody again. Uh, may the Lord bless you, uh, church. Um, you are the head and not the tail. You are highly loved and favoured of the Lord. Uh, may you grow in the richness of what it is to be followers of Jesus. Um, keep holding on to him. Uh, keep pressing into him and um, seek him because he will be found. He's, he desires to be with you. He desires to have fellowship with you. He desires to want to know you more in a deeper way. Um, sometimes we have to break our hearts. Our hearts have to be broken to, to go to a deeper level. Uh, and in part for me yesterday in the service when I bowed my knee, I felt that, that, that sense of closeness to the Lord where my heart was broken afresh and just surrendering. And hence why the tears, because that's part of what God does to us. He melts our hearts uh, to be more in love and, and uh, in favour with him. Anyway, bless you Lord, bless you all. Have a great week and we'll see you later on. Matua, Matua koutou manaki nga wakato. Bless you all, Father.